Master of Mixes handcrafted cocktails at home. I have a, something extra special for you right now. It's the Smoked Manhattan. This is a huge presentation of great cocktails. Uh, whether you're having a poker party or maybe you're doing some grilling outside, you've got some friends over and you wanna make a big impact by delivering cocktails, here is a great idea. So, I have a big cocktail pitcher. I've got big blocks of clear ice cubes in there and we will start off with just a little bit of bourbon. Uh, just a little bit, like six ounces of your favorite whiskey. You know it's all about the size of the jigger. You can use a little one ounce jigger or you can use a big jigger. Oh geez, I think I poured more than six ounces in there. I deeply apologize. Now nine ounces of our Master of Mixes Manhattan Mix which of course is just one ounce over a cup. So a little bit. You can feel free to go off your recipe just a little bit and make this more of an art form than science. Here we go. Big pitcher, stir that up. That looks delicious all on its own. Great big picture of this. I'm kind of hoping maybe my friends don't show up. <laughs> Just teasing. Here we go. Now, here, I, I have this out. This is a stave from a barrel and you can see all the chard on the inside. That brings a lot of the smoky flavor to a, uh, a whiskey that's been, of course, aged in a barrel. Now I have three big rock glasses with my big clumps of ice in there. Big icebergs. Awesome. And let me get a strainer on there. There's my julep strainer, which kind of holds on the inside of these pitchers really nice. And we pour a little bit into each glass. We don't fill one glass up. The idea is that we pour half a drink into each glass and come back to the original drink and keep pouring from there. A couple of different reasons for that. One being if you don't have, or if I over pour the first one and I don't have enough for the last one, that uh, will be in, um, improper form. Sorry, I'm spilling there just a little bit. This pitcher has some funny bits at the top there. But I wanna make sure that everybody gets the same amount. Oh, those are big old glasses. And there's a little bit left over for the host. Orange zest over top. Did you see that spray of zest? It was absolutely beautiful. Let's see if I can flame one of these. Just a little bit of zest out there. So, three great looking Manhattans on the inside of this tray. I have an orange peel or an orange wedge that has some cinnamon, uh, or sorry, vanilla beans, dried vanilla beans inside there. A little bit of spillage. It's not gonna stop me. I would do this in another room while, the, uh, while your guests are in the kitchen or at their poker table or wherever it is that they might be because I want them to be surprised when I bring this in. Get these going really good. There we go. That's going to fill up with smoke. see it on the video you can see the 
streams of smoke coming up off of those vanilla beans. Looks amazing. And it just continues to fill the inside. You can get all kinds of different shapes and then sizes of these cheese trays. And then you're ready to deliver your cocktails to your guests. Or have someone come out with cocktails. The Smoked Manhattan, ladies and gentlemen, your cocktail for the evening. <laughs>